Hello and welcome to another section in further math. Today we'll be talking about um, the higher order derivative. But before that, um, let us, I would like us to um, take a review of our previous lesson. Okay, welcome back. When we're talking about higher order derivative, it's nothing different from what we've been doing. It's just um, uh, further differentiation of what we've been differentiating. Remember the rule of differentiation I stated is that when you have y being equal to x to the power n, then dy over the x is usually n raised to the power x n minus 1. We've been using this for some time now, and this is very important. Now, when you're talking about higher order um, derivative, he talks about further finding the derivative of other numbers, um, further finding the derivative to a lower term. For example, if you have x um, raised to power, um, let me say x raised to power 4, and you're being told to look for the second and third derivative what you need to do at this point you know the rule dy over dx is simply equal um using this rule our uh, n is 4 so you write 4 x then 4 minus 1 which is equals 4 x is the second derivative according to the rule means you have to differentiate your answer again. That's just it. So now this becomes the square y all over the x square. So you're doing the second derivative. You now differentiate this. At this point, our n becomes 3. So 3 times 4 becomes 4 times 3. If you do 4 times 3, um, x raised to the power 3 minus 1 which is equal to 4 times 3 is 12 x raised to the power 2 this is the second derivative now you can be told to do the third derivative which is 3y all over the x cube now our new n becomes 2 so you bring it back 12 times 2 x raised to the power 2 minus 1 which is equal to 12 times 2 is 24 is 24 x because 2 minus 1 is 1 so the second derivative of x to the power 4 is this while the third derivative is this now we can go further into solving um, one more question on second and higher order derivative what if you're being given um, y equals x raised to the power 3 plus 2x plus 1 to find the second and third derivative. Now let's get the first derivative. dy dx is equal, this our n becomes 3x, if that's our value of x, it becomes 3x raised to the power 3 minus 1 plus this is 2 x is power 1 minus 1 remember differentiating a constant is 0 so we now have 3 x is power 3 minus 1 is 2 plus 2 1 minus 1 is 0 so x is to power 0 plus 0 so we have 3 x squared plus 2 times x is power 0 is 1 1 times 2 is 2 this are the y dx now, dy dx is 3x squared plus 2. So, at the square y over the x square will now be equal. This is our new n. So, it becomes 3 times 2x, 2 minus 1. Plus, differentiation of a constant is 0. So, which is equal, if you bring it back, 3 times 2 is 6x, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, you leave it that way, plus 0. So, this is the um, answer equals 6x. This is second derivative. Now, if you want to look for the third derivative, the 3y 
all over the x cube it now becomes we are dealing with 6x now remember this is 1 so it becomes 6 x is power 1 minus 1 which is equal to 6 uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 so 6 times x is to power that's 6 times 1 which is equal to 6 because x is to power 0 is 1 so this is um um a second example and this is the first example so with this you discover that higher order derivative is nothing different from what we've been doing all this while is just to continue differentiating the answer you've got and you see yourself achieving your aim but there's one part i really want us to concentrate on and it's called the implicit differentiation now i want you to pay attention to um what we have here because it's very very important and if you want to get the the concept surrounding implicit differentiation implicit differentiation talks about a function that contains both x and y you know all this why i've been telling you differentiate um i keep telling you differentiate y equals x is to power 4 plus x is to power 3 plus 2x just like that but I've not given you a question that said, okay, differentiate, let me say, um, 2x squared plus xy plus y squared x equals to 4. Now, you can see that our question contains both y and x. Now, at this point, you apply the implicit differentiation. Now, let's go into solving it. Then you see the rules and the rules guiding implicit differentiation. Let's go with number one. If we have x squared plus y square equals 4, this is an implicit differentiation because you have both x and y in the equation. Remember, if you differentiate a constant, you definitely have 0. So let's differentiate. If you differentiate, you find the y dx of x square. This is x square. If you find the y dx, you discover that you have, remember, these are n, 2x. So this becomes 2x because you're differentiating with respect to x. Now, in this other side, there's no x here, but you want to still find dy dx. So you differentiate y and add dy dx to it. So this is now if you differentiate y squared, just like you got 2x here. If you differentiate y squared, you have um, 2y. Differentiating y squared here will give you 2y. But you add dy dx. Here you differentiate it with respect to x. You know, if you write dy dx, it means you're differentiating y with respect to x. So that's why you have um, 2x. But at this point, there's no x attached to it. So you now write it as so what you're differentiating, you're differentiating y with respect to y. So you write 2y. Then you attach the y dx to it, showing them that you did not differentiate it with respect to x, but rather you did that with respect to y, which is equal to differentiation of a constant is what? Zero. So, with this, let's take this to this other side. It becomes minus 2x. So, 2y dy dx is equals, if 2x comes to this side, it becomes minus 2x. We just took this we did not do any magic so in order to get dy dx we divide both sides by 2y divide here by 2y so that this 2y we take away this 2y you have dy dx so the value of your dy dx is equals minus 2x all over 2y but we have 2 2 so 2 can cancel 2 so what is left now is equals minus x over y so the dy dx of this function is equals minus x over y. Now, one of the things I want you to understand is that when you differentiate the implicit function, you only apply implicit at this point. Number one, when you have both x and y in the function that 
is to be differentiated. So this is a point to apply the implicit rule in differentiation. I want us to try another question and see how good we are becoming with implicit function. Let's solve a question that has both x and y attached together. Let me say for example if you have x y plus x square plus y square equals 1. Find the y dx. Find the y dx. So we are looking for it. Remember I said if you have x and y, there's y, there's x, you know it's implicit differentiation. That's how to identify it. Now the first step you have to take into consideration is 1. This 1 is different from this. You have only x, you have only y. But you differentiate this now. When we did uh, um, separate um, differentiation, for example, you differentiate this as, you differentiate x, if you want to differentiate x, you remember when you have 4x, then the y dx is equals. When you have 4x, when you have 4x, the y dx is usually equals 4. So when you have xy, the y dx will be y. So if you are differentiating with respect to x, you have y. That is the you are differentiating with respect to x. Now if you want to differentiate with respect to y. Now you want to differentiate with respect to to y at this point what you will now do is you do plus differentiating with respect to y you have x but this x will now have dy dx because you differentiated with respect to y so if you differentiate x y you have y plus x dy dx remember when you want to differentiate x if you differentiate x you have only y but you did not add the y dx because you're differentiating with respect to x but if you want to differentiate with respect to y, you will differentiate y, you have what is attached to it, which is x. You now add dy dx to it. That's how to deal with this point. Now you have plus, if you differentiate x squared, you have 2x. Remember our rule for differentiation that states n, x, n, minus 1. Apply it. So you have 2x. Plus, if you differentiate this with respect to s remember you have 2y but remember you have dy dx is equals 0. now let's pick out all the terms that don't contain dy dx we have y here take it to this side so leave x dy dx plus this will have dy dx 2y dy dx is equals this is minus y because it will come to this other side this is plus 2x becomes minus 2x. So we now have what is common between these two is dy dx. We now have dy dx is common. You now have x plus 2y is equal. Just put um, a minus sign here so that to eliminate um, much minus in your solving. Have minus in bracket y plus 2x. So you divide this by x plus 2y. And you divide here whatever thing you do to the left side you do to the right hand side x plus 2y our law so that this will take off this so with that we now have minus y plus 2x all over x plus 2y as a dy dx of this function i will still want us to go ahead into solving one more question again on implicit function this should be the third one so that we understand the concept very very well now let's do it this way if we have x square y plus y square x plus x plus y plus x square plus y square plus um two equals zero let's do it this way i think this one is a bit complex now remember, let's differentiate. Um, state the rule. It's an implicit differentiation. But always state the rule that states s n n minus one. So if you want to differentiate x square, you have two x and y. You've differentiated with respect to x. You don't add the y dx. Now let's differentiate with respect to y. If you differentiate with respect to y, which is plus, you now have x square. X square. But remember to add your dy dx 
that is the rule of implicit when you differentiate y you add the y dx when you differentiate the x you leave it like that you now plus come to this other group let's differentiate x you have only y square y square no the y dx plus let's differentiate with respect to y if you differentiate with respect to y, you have 2yx you now have 2yx but remember i add dy dx now if you differentiate this you have plus 2x but since it's x no dy dx plus if you want to differentiate with respect to this you have 2y 2y but always remember to add your dy dx plus 0 equals 0 because you differentiate a constant is 0 now i would like us to transfer all these terms that don't have dy dx to this other side so we now have this one has dy dx is x squared dy dx we have it here plus 2yx dy dx we have it here plus 2y dy dx being equal to now let's just start taking this minus 2xy because if it crosses it becomes minus here minus y square if this one goes to it becomes minus 2x so what is common between them here we have dy dx is equal we have x square plus 2xy plus 2y this one is common between them remember there's no equal to sign here mm -hmm. this is where it exists equal you now put the minus sign here you have your 2xy plus y square plus 2x this minus controls or this minus 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 so our final value for dy dx is now minus you open your bracket 2xy plus y square plus 2x all over what is this divide by x square plus 2xy plus 2y now this is the final answer if you do this implicit differentiation don't always forget to apply this rule and to refresh your memory on what we just discussed take the test on the screen do well to use this lesson note on the platform for better information on the topic we've discussed feel free to always drop your questions your comment your contribution on the context of the topic and we'll be very glad to hear from you thank you and see you in our next class